All right, so today, what I would like to share with you is how to record some cool guitar stuff in GarageBand using plugins. Now, I was told you couldn't do it. You could only use, like, the amp models that were in GarageBand. If you wanted to use plugins and all that, you'd have to move up to Logic, which is not true. And I figured this out yesterday, trial and error. Now, it may be a rookie mistake that I made, because I am brand new to this. I'm used to micing my amps and doing it old school and going through that whole nightmare. So what I got here is I've opened up, I'm using a Universal Audio Apollo Twin and the uh, plugins that I'm using are also by Universal Audio. This is the Marshall Plexi. So in and of itself, this amp sounds like this. So we have just a cool rhythm Sounding guitar, let's open up GarageBand. Empty project, because we're going to start from scratch. Let's make a quick song here. Now this keyboard always pops up because I have my MIDI controller in. Now, let's make a drum track. Something with Kyle, he's fine. Slow it down a bit. 90. Okay, now for our guitar, we're going to come over here to track. New track. Now, because we're not using the amp models that are in GarageBand, we're going to come over here and choose record using a microphone or line input, which we are using, the Apollo. So now we've created this track. Now, my problem was, now, the guitar sounds good, so I hit record. played it back after playing the entire thing, it sounded like this. So as you can see <clears throat> here, and see, it recorded just the line signal without the amp on there. And I thought, wow, I guess they're right. I guess I can't do it. And then uh, I went back to my console here and just kind of looking around, you know, in menus and stuff, I came over here to where this little thing is glowing. It says UAD monitor. I said, what's UAD record? What's this button do? So I hit that, went back to GarageBand, and tried it again. This is how it came out. So obviously it took. So that's all I had to do was <laughs> hit the record button on it. Duh. So, all right, let's make another track here. New track. We're going to be doing the same thing using the Universal Audio. Create. Come over here now. Let's go back to our console and let's switch things up. Let's add a tube screamer. Like that. And a different amp. Guitar. Let's use the Chandler, which I love this amp. Holy cow. We're not even in India I'm talking about holy cows. All right, let's go to the effects rack. Add a little bit of delay to this bad puppy. Who doesn't love a little bit of delay? Oh, got turned on first. Durr. Okay, sweet. So we have that going on. Let's go back 
to GarageBand here. And uh, let's lay a lead track real quick. sound so it's just that easy man and again I was told oh man you can't do it you can't you know obviously you can do it so uh, I hope that helps you out I hope it uh, again for rookies out there like myself and I hope you dig it and as always if you do man feel free please subscribe <laughs>